Hello everyone, my name is Renan, I'm one of the engineers behind Mirror. Okay, and so today we are going to check how to install all the requirements for developing with Android on Meteor. Okay, so we'll start with a fresh Ubuntu installation. There is nothing here besides Node.js and also Meteor. Okay, Meteor was installed using the NPM. Okay, so we have also previous videos about that, so you can check that out. But today we are going to check what we need to get Meteor Cordova and Android running. Okay, so, so let's start by checking what we need to install. Okay, we are going to create a new project. I'm going to pass a beta release. It's going to be released really soon, but it does contain the latest Android, Cordova Android updates. So we are going to check with the latest, okay? So we are creating a package or a project named Cordova. Okay, so inside this project, we are going to add uh, the platform Android to see the prereqs. Okay, so let's wait some seconds while it creates everything. Okay, now we are done. We have created the project. So I'm going to do a CD Cordova and then I'm going to run meter at platform Android. Okay, so this is the way you start developing Android. So you add the platform named Android to your meter project. Okay, so meter is going to install Cordova and do some checks for us to see if we have all the requirements. Okay, so let's wait a little while it does it. Okay, here we go. So here, Meteor have put all the recs we are failing. So we need to install a Java GDK, an Android SDK. We need to get all the tools of the Android SDK into your power path. And also we have to install Gradle, okay? So let's start with with installing the Java GDK. So we are going to install it using apt install open GDK 8 GDK. Okay, so it's as simple as that. So install open GDK. Okay, my Ubuntu just decided to update by itself. Okay, I'm going to kill Disinstall this update process so we can proceed our video. All right, okay, then let's run this command again. Oh, sorry, there's a typo here. JD. All right, we are going to log and install it. Okay, first step done. We can check that it worked using Java dash dash version. So, okay, sorry, it's dash v. Right. Java dash version. Sorry. Okay. So let's then proceed to installing Android Studio. We are going to go to sudo snap install Android Studio classic we are going to use snap for installing it if you have another linux distribution that may vary between each of them so if you use art you may need to use our so if you use fedora you are going to use dnf to install the requirements well if you have snap for android sudo it's easier to install so you're going to we are going to install a y uh, enabled application via the command line so that's why I like it snap okay let's let's wait for snap to install Android studio okay we are done so we are going to find Android studio here in our launch window so Android studio okay we need to 
open it and let it set up the SDK for us. Okay, do not import. I don't have any previous Android Studio version installed. This is a clean installation. And the first one is going to ask a lot of questions, so I don't want my data to be shared with Google right now. Okay, I don't want to update Kotlin plugin, plugin right now. Okay, so I'm just going next, and I'm going to choose the standard installation, so dark theme, and all the requirements they are going to see. Okay, just the full installation, so as we will do on Windows. Next, 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 and install. So Android Studio is now downloading some emulator window, uh, some emulator image, and also the SDK for the SDK for Android. So it's going to take a while. Okay, it's done. So let's just finish it. Okay, it have opened this window here. Okay, so we are going to go here in this settings icon. We are going to go. No, sorry, it's not here. It's some projects, more actions, and SDK manager. We're going to click here. Okay, then we are here. We are going to install the API in the APK for Android 11. So that's the 30 API level, and also SDK tools. We are going to install Android SDK command line tools. Okay, then you proceed installing. I have to accept the license agreement and then the install is easy as clicking in the next button. Okay, finish it. Right, so we won't need Android Studio opening anymore. So let's close it. Okay, so right now, if you remember our checklist at the beginning, uh, let's see. Oh, it's here. We need to have the Android SDK root environment variable. So that's not automatically set by Android Studio. So we need to install it. We need to set it in our bash RC file. Okay. And also the tools in our path, they need to be inside our path. Okay. But first things first, let's also go ahead and install Gradle. You can also use Gradle for your APD get if you're on Ubuntu latest that's going to be Gradle 4. You can also always install Gradle manually if you want to avoid bloat, but that's our choice. We're going here with the fastest and easier solution. Just install it Gradle from, from our package manager. Okay. Okay, finish it. Let's see if Gradle is successfully installed. Gradle dash dash version. Okay, it show it. Gradle is okay. Is and is in our path. Okay, so let's edit our dot uh, bash rc file that lives in our home folder. Okay, so. Our last line is just this part of Meteor that's going to be added automatically for you in the NPM installation. But right now we are going to type some lines here. Okay. We are going to define first the Android home. Okay, the Android home is home slash Android slash SDK. Okay, this this folder is installed by Android Studio. Okay, so we are now going to set Android SDK root, which is what this media tool asked for. Okay, we're going to set that to home. Android SDK, same thing. Okay, so now we are going to put the SDK tools, SDK tools in our path. In our path, okay. So we're going to path, path and append the Android home slash tools folder. Also export path. And then we are going to add the platform tools too. Okay, we are done. You can use whichever 
a text editor you want. You can also use gedit, that's a, it's a graphical editor. You can use Vime, you can use Nano. That, that's your choice, okay? So then we're going to source the bash RC file because otherwise you have to open a new terminal windows. Okay, window. All right, so we finished everything that we need to. So let's remove the platform and then add it again. Okay, why am I doing this? Because even if some checks fails, Meteor lets you add the platform, but it will break when you try to run it. But we are going to remove and add the platform just to make sure we have passed all checks. Okay, so we are now running Meteor at the platform and right again. Okay, and no warning, no waivers, nothing has uh, been shown to us. Okay, so this is the complete installation of your Android environment. So if you want to add more, if you want to create a new emulator, you do that from Android Studio, and then you can run your project with Meteor Run, Android or Android device. Okay, so stay, stay tuned for more videos like this and I hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks.